Hello viewers, welcome to the second episode of a tutorial on binary operations. So in this question, we want to provide an answer to a question that involves set. So you can see that the operation star is defined on a set of non-real numbers as P star B equals to PQ minus what? P over Q. Meaning the first term times the second term minus the first term over second term. So as we evaluate, this is a set taken as one term. Then the second set taken as what? Another term. So this is our P. The whole of this is your P. And the whole of this is your what? Q. So after solving your question, your questions will be presented in this form. A variable or a, a, a number plus a number root 2. So what we need to do is to kickstart this by saying that this is our P, this is our word Q. So since I don't have enough space, I'm supposed to write this first equals to your operation. So I will start with the equals to. So this is going to be first term P, 1 plus the root 2 multiplying Q, going to be 2 minus 1, root 2, then minus the first term, which is 1 plus root of 2 over the second term minus what? Root 2. So we have not started the calculation. We are only representing the values of P and Q into our binary operator operations, which is stated in the left and defined on the right. So this is the definition from the right. So now we can solve this equation without looking at what the binary operation says. This is the two binomial term multiplying each other. So each of the term in the first bracket multiply each of the term in the second bracket. So one will multiply two to give us what? Two. One times minus two minus root two will give us what? The same thing. Then root two will multiply two. Seeing this rational, irrational, the rational come before the irrational. If you are multiplying a in a root times a in a root, this simply means that we have root a square or you are having root a all square. We definitely, this will cancel to give you only a. So in this case, root 2 times root 2 will just be minus what? 2. Then we are now going to operate on this side. Now, in this case, we can see that this is a fraction involving set at both numerator and the word denominator. So, under set, when your a fraction contains a set in the denominator, you rationalize in order to have only rational numbers at your denominator. So, by rationalization, we use the conjugate pair of the denominator to multiply both the numerator and the denominator. What I mean is that here, the fraction 1 plus root 2 over 2 minus root 2 will be multiplied by the conjugate pair of this is just a separation of power. This is going to be minus in the conjugate pair will be positive. So here will be times 2 plus root 2 over 2 plus root 2 in a sense that 2 plus root 2 over 2 plus root 2 can easily cancel because they are never there. So the question still remains the same. That is what you have by rationalization. Now taking it from the left, we have rational 2 minus rational 2, ability to give us 0. Then minus 1 plus 2. I am saying minus 1 plus 2 because the roots are having the same terms under them. So this is going to be 1 minus 2. 1, negative 1 plus what? 2. This minus 1 will subtract from here to give you only 1. So I'll be left with only the root of what? 2. Then my minus will come. Let me compute the top together as 1.
So computing that as one, don't forget this multiplication means that the top is multiplying together and the down is also doing the same. What we did for the first part could be done for the numerator and our denominator. Multiplying by 10 by 10. So 1 will multiply 2. So beginning from here, I have root 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times root 2 will still remain root 2. The root 2 times 2 will give you a rational and irrational. Rational will come first, the irrational will follow. The root 2 times root 2, as we did in this case, when two numbers equal number multiply under the root, the root cancel, maintaining the root as what? 2. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 terms. Then we do same for our denominator. 2 times 2, 4. 2 times root 2 will be 2 root 2. Rational first followed by irrational. Then minus root 2 times 2, 2 root 2. Then similarly root 2 times root 2 will give us only 2. So fast forward, 1, 2, 3, 4 terms. Now we have our terms being given unto us. What do we do? Don't forget this is one term. So this negative is not affecting the two. So we only take this two and this two together to give us what? Four. Then here is one, two. I'm saying one and two because the root are the same. So one plus two will give us three root two. Divided by, let's take this to be rational, irrational, rational, irrational. So 2 minus 2 will be 0. 0 times root 2 will clear away. So we left with only 4 minus what? 2. Or better still, 4 minus 2 will give us what? 2. Now, we can see that this is rational. So I am not going to say this cannot be solved. I cannot rationalize the denominator again because I only have my rational number. So I'll take this as what? A fraction and solve it as two fractions. Now in order to solve this, I can look for LCM or I will make sure this fraction also have two as denominator. Meaning if I multiply the top and down by two, I'll be having equal denominator. So I have two root two over 2, 4 plus 3 root 2 over what? 2. Since I have the same denominators, I can equally operate the numerators because I have equal fraction. Don't forget, 2 can cancel 2 to give me root 2 over what? 1. So I have not changed the question. So this is going to be 2 root 2 minus 3 root 2 plus 4 all over 2 because I need only one of the two. You can see this is what? 2 minus 3. Since the same root, 2 minus 3 will give you what? Minus 1. So you're having minus root 2 plus 4 all over what? 2. We can leave our answer this way, but the question is asking a separation of power. So this is going to be minus 2 over 2, as in the first one, plus 4 over what? 2. And if I want to write this in terms of x, 4 over 2 will be what? 2. Then this is going to be minus 1 over 2 root 2. The first term will be x, therefore x is 2. The second term, which is y in front of root 2, will be what? Minus half. So x is 2 and y is minus half. So this is also involving a set into a binary operation. Because binary operation is just using the operator to operate on operations in other field of mathematics. I believe you get the concept and you understood. If you do understand and you find this educative, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. And God will bless you. Bye.